Hi, welcome to a G Creek Christmas. My name is Jeff Dixon. I'm your host as we're looking at Christmas stuff. Uh, and we're doing it from G Creek right here in Winter Springs at G Creek, beautiful G Creek right here located on the campus of the church 434. Come by and see us sometimes or go to the gates of Sasquatch Park and you can find G Creek. When you're back there, look around. You see the otters. You see the gators. Don't feed them. Stay away. Just look. Enjoy nature at its finest. Christmas in the country, if you will. Today I want to talk to you about um, toy wars. That's right, toy wars. Toys that have created conflict and chaos. You say, what? Toys? Toys are for kids to play with. Toys are fun, and they are, until the parents get involved. For example, 1982. You may have heard of that year. Some of you were alive that year. Some of you have lived it. I call that year the year of the Cabbage Patch Wars. That's right, the Cabbage Patch Wars. Cabbage Patch Kids were the stuffed dolls with faces only a mother could love. Supposedly they came from the Babyland General Hospital in Georgia, and they included adoption agreements. In 1985, $600 million of these dolls from the Cabbage Patch were sold. The war started when crazed shoppers eager, eager to adopt one of these babies trampled a pregnant woman and a 75-year-old man at two different stores. An employee at the Zare store, some of you remember Zare's, Zare store in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, used a baseball bat to fend off the cabbage patch kooks. But in the melee, a customer ended up with a broken leg trying to get the elusive cabbage patch dolls that they couldn't keep on the shelf. Cute little cabbage patch doll made parents go to war. Just not right. If it's not enough for the cabbage patch wars, there is, of course, the Tickle Me Elmo disaster. Tickle Me Elmo, 1996. Tickle Me Elmo is that um, furry red monster from Sesame Street. It giggles a lot. Full disclosure, Elmo creeps me out. Um, I don't know why. I just don't trust him. Neither here nor there. Uh, Elmo giggled his way to a million units sold during the Christmas of 1996. The chaos ensued when a Walmart employee in New Brunswick, Canada, was placing one of the dolls in the shelf. And as he was placing the doll on the shelf, he was run over by a mob of 300 people battling to bag one of the 49 Elmos that they actually had to put on the shelf that day. He was injured. 300 people trying to grab 49 Tickle Me Elmos. From that day on, in that store, with that employee, the name was forever changed. Trample Me Elmo. That's what they call it. There's more. Furby, those funny talking gizmos, set fur flying across the countries back in 1998. Customers who braved the cold all night in Lynn, Massachusetts, started a riot when they discovered that the Walmart had stocked only 30 of the little electronic gremlins. Furby shoppers in Denver knocked over displays, trampled bystanders. In Illinois, two women were injured in another Furby stampede. Frantic parents then turned to eBay, where they paid up to three times the retail price for these little furry balls of death. Furbies. Who knew parents could react so badly? There's nothing wrong with wanting to give the perfect gift. There's something wrong with going to an extreme that's going to hurt other people to give it. I know that's common sense, but sometimes common sense goes out the window because people get a little bit Christmas crazy in the chaos. Don't be that person. Remember why it is we celebrate, remember who it is we celebrate, and you do that and you'll keep your heart and your mind wrapped around what it is is really important. And your Christmas celebration will be brighter and relaxed. You'll find 
the perfect gift. And so we'll continue our celebration of Christmas right here at G Creek next time in this Christmas special.